Hey guys, this is Sean with Tribe Trailers. Uh, we're gonna walk through the trailer that we brought to Overland West right now, towing it with the D90. Um, we're gonna start from the front, work around, go to the back. This is our working trailer. We take this thing out everywhere. It's beaten, it's bruised. It's been pouring rain on us sideways uh, last day of the show. So we're gonna go through it and show you guys all the features and everything else you can expect. So we come over here. You know, if you're at the show, you know, you saw everyone's articulating hitch. Everyone has the same ones, it seems like, but we do things a little differently over here. So you still have the full articulation in the front, but this guy right here actually works as a spring. So as it comes back, it condenses over here and actually works. So if you're going over whoops, bumps, rocks, jumps, anything, it's gonna come in, spring in, and push back out. So it's not pushing against your car, pushing it forward, you know, messing up your rear locker or your brakes. We have a seven pin connector right here, which goes into our battery. It's gonna charge the entire battery as it's working. It's also gonna to go to the electronic brakes that we have. Once you detach it from the car, you are gonna to have to have brakes. So we have the handbrake right here, yank that up, brakes are attached. Jockey wheel comes down. On all four corners, we also have the uh, stabilizing legs that drop down. As we come further in, you can see we have a nice deep toolbox right here. It opens up, comes super deep down inside. On this side, we have storage for two, um, two jerry cans. It can be water or gas, as well as a hand pump right here that attaches into our 17 gallon water tank. The 17 gallon water tank under there has uh, diamond plating around it. So if you hit rocks, bumps, anything, it's gonna bounce off and be perfectly fine. As those rocks and bumps and everything else travel underneath, it has articulating A-arms. So our suspension is set up with articulating A-arms on both sides, independent suspension. They're wrapped in steel, actually double wrapped in steel now to make sure if you hit anything, they're gonna be perfectly fine. You're gonna have built-in bump stops, built-in limiter straps, shocks and springs, as well as an, another space on both sides to have shocks put in. So you can have up to four shocks on the, on the trailer. As we come over here, you can see that we have a uh, full-size propane latch over here. So if you wanna put a full-size propane tank in here, latch is down, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can see the lights as we work around as well. It has 360 lighting. It's gonna light up the entire base camp that you're at. You're gonna be perfectly fine. Most of the time you're not gonna want them on because they're so bright, but you know, if it's middle of night and you chop wood, anything else, they're there. Uh, the doors and everything else you can see is also rhino line to make sure that no rock chips, anything along those lines. The latches over here, we got double latch style that also lock. On this side, we have a full kitchen pull out. So you can pull this guy out. We have a prototype stove in here right now. So come check out the stove. It's a high quality stove. It's gonna burn around 10,000 BTU on both sides. There's no plastic knobs on this thing. There's nothing that's gonna break. It's gonna be fully drop inable for our trailer. As well, we have the sink over here. You know, I was at the show checking out some other trailers and I saw Dometic had some stoves, a bunch of other stoves. I saw even with the Dometic, there was plastic knobs, plastic compartments. Everything that we have on here is gonna be nice, high quality, rigid and ready to go right off the box. Storage up here, pull that out, drop this guy down, pulls all the way out. I was talking to some people at the show as well. You know, everything here is magnetic. So you can put, you know, a spice rack here, other racking if you wanna put, you know, something to hold your paper towel, anything along those lines you can. There's also a full LED light on every one of these doors with the important compartments. A full pass through up here. You got your pump switch that turns on your pump. The pump is located right underneath this drawer. Um, you're not gonna have to pump to get pressure out of that 17 gallon. It's right there, you push a, push a switch and it goes straight into your sink. Lots of storage on this side, even more storage on this side. As you guys can see, we've been out camping, we've been hanging out. Last day, we're gonna head home soon. We still got everything packed up over here. Close these guys up. As we work our way to the back, we got some more to show you. So, we have a, a full fridge slide out. Come all the way out here, come all the way to the back. I'm gonna show you guys this guy over here. Two 12 volt outlets, as well as we have the corner lights, which is the 360 lighting around the trailer. We have the light switch, which is the LED light switch on the door, as well as this fan that's gonna work to suck hot air that your fridge produces out through this vent. Close this guy up. The whole frame on this entire trailer is galvanized steel hot dip. So all the framework is gonna be strong, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna last you. You have a hitch back here, as well as a full size uh, spare tire. Our tires are 31 inch BF Goodrich all terrains, great tires. You know, I've never had any problems with them. Your tire on your car is gonna pop it before these things. On the back, we also have our solar plug. This thing is completely solar compatible. I'll show you where that all works up here in just a second. This racking system right here pulls all the way out and locks into place as well. 
You can put axes back here, you can put you know tables back here, anything that you want. But the cool part about this compartment that, you know, being a fisherman myself that I love, you know, we can see we have something up here right now, but this whole tent can raise up either manpower lifting it up, or you can use bottle jacks, anything else. Lift this guy up, pin these pegs in over here, and then you can put whatever you want on top of this box as well. It is weight bearing. You have strap down points right here, so I throw my kayak up here, throw my fishing rods back here. Uh, I'm ready to go out for a long weekend over by whatever lake I decide, and I can take this up anywhere, right? So the beautiful part about this um, articulating A-arms, this badass suspension that we have in here is that you can go up to Mammoth Mountains, up into the Mammoth Lakes, middle of nowhere, take your kayak, go fishing for some smallmouth, come back down, you know, Monday morning, whatever it is. Lots of storage underneath as well as deep storage boxes. The one thing that I saw with a lot of the other trailers at the show this weekend is there's not a lot of storage with all these options, right? We have every option we can possibly fit in this thing with tons of storage. And for me, that's huge. I want to bring as much stuff as I can, right? Nice, deep um, compartment down here as well as this drawer. But here's where the magic happens. We have a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery, an inverter on this one. The inverters that we have at the dealership right now are bigger inverters. Um, it also comes with shore power. We have a D, an AC inverter, DC inverter, water gauge for that 17 gallon water tank, switches to turn everything on, 110 volt uh, sockets, as well as USB sockets for that 12 volt. Here's that full pass through again. We got our solar panels up there right now. You know, with everything this trailer has, it also comes with the Alpha four person tent. This is the body style of it right over here. It's a giant tent. We have the Alpha two on this right now, kind of showing off a bit of a smaller tent compartment, but everything that comes on this is what you see, as well as the four person tent on top, as well as an awning on the other side. With all of this said, all these amazing things, you're not spending $45,000, you're not spending $35,000. Our MSRP is $24,900. It's the lowest on the market for what you're getting. You're getting a badass tent, you're getting a badass awning, and you're getting a badass trailer. 